way this does not make sense and I slowly pulled down my my pants, my cheeks were glowing, I felt the heat in my mind, what will she say, what if, and there I pulled down my pants with a deep breath, still shaking, still embarrassed, I did not dare to look at her, I did not dare to see her eyes, I did not dare to watch her, I could only, only look down on myself, I saw my, my penis, my erected penis almost ex exploding, this desire, something in deep inside it has awakened, it was a glow with passion, with, with my heart throbs, it was a glow with this deep, deep warmth, this this heat what was in my soul, the heat to, to connect with someone, with anybody, to be with someone all these years. These thoughts I, I never had and all my desire was filled. Like a vessel was filled with desire, with willingness to survive for adventure, everything you can imagine of. Here, here it was in front of her, exposed my erection, ex 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 exposed my desire, just after one kiss, she got me after one kiss, and I was already out of my senses, one kiss, and I had a full heart erection, one kiss, and she al already turned my life upside down, one kiss, and I was in, in, Entirely in her hands, I couldn't do anything about it. My erection, my this told more about me. I could not stop it. I could not stop this. This beautiful woman has has captivated me. Had. I couldn't just pretend not to. I couldn't just walk away now. She knew that. She knew I could not. I was hers. And I did not dare to look at it. I was ashamed. Ashamed of the moment. Ashamed. Because we are taught and brought up that we do not share our emotions, that we do not show our thoughts openly, that we do not put our, our desires openly out in the open. So for everyone to see I was ashamed, now I was exposed. I felt naked for the first first time in my life I had an erection I was full hard and she knew exactly what I thought she knew exactly the scenes playing in my mind she knew exactly how desperately I wanted her and this was one kiss one kiss flared this passion inside me I still didn't dare to watch her and then I felt that a sweet touch on my chin. Her sweet, fragile hands were like gently moving up my chin, up to her eyes, and she was there again. These beautiful eyes, these, these full lips, they were even glowing more and more. This desire and in her eyes, this joy, the sadness around her eye rims had disappeared and was filled with joy, with passion, with craving and with understanding. I was still shaky. I was still shaky on mine. But I felt more calmer. I felt calmer with every second I watched this beauty. I felt calmer with every second I watched into the eyes of, the, of my beautiful captor. My heart was still pounding. I was still deaf. My heart was throbbing, throbbing against my ears, my, my body, my belly, my, my penis. I felt like this desire was all inside me. I didn't know about it. I did not know my body. I didn't know anything. This want, this willingness was inside me and I craved her. 
I wanted every part of her. I wanted to, I wanted her to touch me, to hold me, to kiss me, to look at me, and do with me whatever she pleases. And she gently, and she then again came closer to me again, and I was craving those lips. I wanted those lips. My heart was throbbing, throbbing again. I was deaf and sweet demand, and she wore, wore, kissed me again passionately. She sucked on my, she sucked on my lips like she want, wanted to convey me more. I want more of you. I want to see more of you. She wanted to convey desire, willingness, passion. She sang it in there and it was sweet. A demand for more. I felt thrill. I felt this excitement. With every sucking, with, with this teasing thrill, pull, pulling my lips, pulling my desire, this relief that I was not wrong after all, this relief that someone desires me, oh, this sweet feeling, this, this fulfillment that someone just likes you, demands you, wants you as much as you want and you can feel it, you can feel it on their lips, you can feel the craving on their lips, how they suck you. Suck your lips, how they demand more of you, how they want you, how they crave you. You can feel it on their lips. And then she pulled back again. Again, with those eyes, again, she, she measured me again. She watched me. She watched me closely. And she undressed completely her shirt. She pulled it down. And she stood in front of me, naked. What a beautiful woman. Her, her boobs, they were not too big, not too small. They were just matching her beauty. This fragile composure, this beautiful portrait of a woman. Her hips, the lines of her, her body, they matched beauty, unimaginable beauty. Like, like it was stroked, like it was stroked, um, like it were made in one stroke. And I was speechless. I just stared at her. I stared at her, mesmerized. These eyes, they were still, still full of, with flame of passion. And she then slowly approached me. And I was, again, breathing heavily. I was expecting perfecting these beautiful lips, this beautiful body on me, close to me. I didn't know what to do. Still, I was, I was shell-shocked. Still, I was, I was speechless by this turn of events and she came closer to me. I took my hand, kissed me and laid me down, helped me to strive off of my pen and my shirt. I was completely naked in front of her. And she started kissing me again, again and again. Oh, it felt like something, it felt like a deep feeling, a deep full of fulfillment. And then she put herself upon me and I felt her hand uh, on my penis. It was it was like someone is holding, holding back this desire, like someone has squeezed all of it. Like her gentle hands have, have grasped, my desire has, have grasped my deep craving, and she was holding, holding on, on to it and understanding. And she so slowly and gently moved her hand up and down and I was, and this was 
like a wave, like an ex, ex, that charge which would charge through my body with every stroke. And she was watching me, and she was watching me very closely, and she knew that she controlled me with every stroke. And it was so gentle, this beautiful woman, and I could not look away from her eyes. I could not look away from this beauty. She still had captivated me. She, she still had incarcerated me with her eyes, with every stroke. She controlled me. She controlled my brief, breathing. She controlled my eyes. She controlled my entire body. I felt in her hand. I felt with every stroke. And my craving became more, my craving excelled even than my thought. I wanted to more, to more, I wanted to her, her lips again, this beauty, this, this unimaginable. I wanted her to be connected to me, to hold her tight, to hold anything, to hold, to hold myself from falling, to, to, to hold this sweet imagination, this illusion that this is all real, to hold on to something. I wanted to to understand it. I wanted to be close to her. I wanted to look in to those eyes closely. And I wanted to be the one to pet those lips, to be the one who makes sense of it, makes sense of it all. But I still, I was hesitant, still, I didn't know what to do. Still, I felt with my hands and with my awkward. And more and more, more and more, my desire became ravenous. More and more, I wanted more of her, more and more. I could not stop her. I grabbed her hand and uh, I, I pulled her closer. I wanted to, I wanted to convey that I want your lips, that I want you. That I don't want you, her, to watch me. I just, I, I didn't want her to just be away from me, far away, too far away. I didn't want her to, I wanted her to understand that I could not be at this distance to her. That I could not be her just watching her. I wanted every part of her. I wanted to be with her. I pulled her closer. I locked her with my hands. I locked her closely and I pressed my lips against her as I pressed my desire against her. I wanted her to understand me. I wanted her to truly give care to understand my thoughts, my my scenes, those those scenes which have been playing through my mind all this time, these scenes of her, of me. I wanted her to take part in my thoughts, in my ideas, in my desire. I wanted her to feel my heart throbs. To, I wanted her to immerse, to submerge with me in this sweet passion, in this desire. And I held her, I held her tightly, and I held her closely, and I kissed her the, the most passionate way I thought possible, the most, the most desirous way I could think of, of imaginable. With every kiss I wanted to convey to her that I had missed her, like two lovers who have been, who haven't met each other for a long time. I wanted to press my lips against her like I had found something dire, like I had found something which I hadn't seen in my life before, like we were apart too, too long, like, like I came after a journey, after a long journey and all this time I was away of her, I was craving her, I wanted to press my lips against her, that she feels this desire, that she feels that at the very moment I saw her, that she awakened in me something, Something ravenous, something willing, something desirous, something I could not understand. And she made it possible.
I wanted to press everything of me against those 